Good day YouTube, how are we doing today? I am Nutrish Ritkin and welcome to episode 16 of our DNS Tech Pack Let's Play. You may notice something strange in my title there. That's right, this is no longer beta. It has been a little bit since my last video, I know, of Minecraft. Um, but that is because we've been, uh, only in that, we've been busy making it work into full version and now we are we are in full release it is now totally available on the at launcher all the download links will be in the description as per usual uh, but yes you can now play it yourself play it along and push buttons on your keyboard that you don't mean to so yeah so last episode uh, I, I i derped up by mistakenly I mistakenly was wrong. I was mistakenly wrong. Uh, I thought I needed stuff that I didn't have, but it turns out I do have. So, uh, we have got new mods installed on here as well, and I do believe there's even some being removed, possibly. Though I can't remember at all. But of course, the last episode, we were still playing with our blood magic stuff, so that is what we'll continue on with. And what we're wanting to make is finding reagent. There's gunpowder, redstone, glowstone, and a bow. Which... I don't have everything in there, but I don't have everything in there. Of course I don't. Why would I? Far too smart. So it's actually been a wee while since I've played on this. I have been playing on Kiwi Loves Love Server as well. I've started off recording that, then I lost a whole big... My PC broke. I lost pile of data, half the you know, it's, it's, it's a waste, I've done way too much to, to carry on with that. Though if you would guys would want to see what we've done up, up to a point, um, I can quite easily do that, no problem. Oh, so I've got two pivots, that's not good. So let's see, glowstone, redstone, that's it, but we need to put in our comment to Parrot Gem. That's right, I made the comment to Parrot Gem. And I even filled it up with all that will, which is very easy, funny enough, to do to fill it up with all that will when it comes to the uh, binding things. With my mob drop farm thing there, it's it's very easy. You may notice I can't remember if I put that around on camera or not. I made a I made a wall all the way around. I say can't remember if that was on camera. So now we need a diamond sword. It's actually good that it's getting night time because I kind of need it to be. Diamond sword. And the other thing, the reagent stuff as well. Not the reagent, the uh, alchemy ashes. Sorry. So, ashes, reagent, sword. There we go. So this uses your... Ow. So this uses the uh, will, your uh, not will, what? Blood from your orbs. Not that I'm losing it already. Uh, I think it's just for each hit. I don't think it constantly drains it like it used to. But this is what I need to have to make ourselves... <coughs> Not to make ourselves, to get ourselves a weak blood orb shard. Uh, things should start spawning up there very easily. Yeah, I don't know why it let the things start this up. Nobody can play, to be honest. So. So 
know I've got some of these blood shards, because this is what we need to upgrade our altar to the next level. See these things up here? They, they need to be the next thing, which should be... I'll just put in blood magic over there. I think I said any iron thing. It's a, I, I just re-updated the pack for nothing. But yeah, anyway, never mind, that's not important. So it should be 1, 2, 1, which is the 16. Perfect. Uh, what blocks was I using? I was using these chiseled Celtic stove, I think it was. Let's see if I've got any in here. Some, but not enough. Oh god, maybe it's just cobblestone that isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's just cobblestone. It's been that long I can barely remember what everything's... Ah, oh, damn it. Yep, yep, yep. Thought so. <laughs> and I'm back. So yeah, uh, there's still a little problem with any eye. Just, just a little one. Just, it just means that the game crashes if you open up the eye chisel, or the chisel in general. Not, not, nothing, nothing to worry about. Honest, it's fine. Now, do I have... I'm trying to think of the, the, the leather shit that I need. Which one? I'm sure I have a shovel. So I'll need to dig much further down for this, because on this side it's down another level and out another level. Where the runes have to go for tier four of this also. So it also gives us where to put our Supposed to spawn. That. 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 Oh, come on. Just like so. Oop. Doesn't have to be the bricks, it can be just the basic smooth ones, which is the one I'm going to use. And there we go. So obviously it's not going to be tier 4 because we haven't got any of the uh, things in down there. Of course we need a lot more... So we've got 26 blank slate, that's all it is. And I do think I want to try and do a little bit of automation with it. Just a little bit. Just with maybe... One of the new mods, possibly. We, we can have a look and see if I can do some more stuff. Is that enough? Probably not. Yeah, so maybe with one of the recently added mods, which is, which is also, it's not a new mod to Minecraft, but it is definitely a cool mod. It's uh, old school. It is Steve's. 
Tory manager. A Steve's factory manager is an extraordinarily powerful mod that hopefully I can figure out because <laughs> I was always rubbish with it in the past. So hopefully I'll be able to do something with it so I can get ourselves a little bit of automation. So we've got the Steve's factory manager, we shall need some Reports. Another. I think. I don't know if I need that. Uh, let's see what else. We've got Siebel. Sounds like Pico. Let's go with Pete. Hyphen Balg. Let's go Hyphen Balg. <coughs> I can't remember. So I'm going to have to do maybe a little bit of playing around with this because it's not that it's complicated it's just that it's a little bit annoying as if anything now you can have this reasonably well hidden but for me I'm not going to do that. I mean I might I might change it so <coughs> this is what it is it's basically like a flow chart system for the mod you've got all these different things on the left hand side here which you can use to actually create a flow chart and uh, sort of like instructions for this to do. So they always start off with a trigger, basically. And you can set that trigger to certain intervals, like that'll pulse basically, it'll run the command that you've got listed here every second, essentially. And the connections in it, you don't have to worry about that. And you can name these and whatnot as well. Let's clear that up. And then you have inputs, outputs, conditions for these inputs and outputs. So, I mean, we need all of those, basically. Uh, we'll um, it might take me a wee while, so I probably won't do this on camera because it'll be, it's probably rather boring. It's found the inventory, so there's, it knows that there's the blood altar there. But I'm also going to forget about the chest as well. It's got the standard chest, I would imagine, will do. Actually, let's make it an iron chest because why not? Let's go with the this feels like this is blocking the view too, but I wasn't even Oh yeah, I don't know if this ball up here was on camera. Did I do this bit on camera or not? I can't remember. If not, I'll uh, uh, call it upstairs now. For things later on I would imagine. <laughs> I haven't really planned it out very much what I'm going to do but yeah. So is that there? I don't think so. Okay yeah picked up that iron chest. So I didn't actually need these iron cables. I could have just put the factory manager right next to it I suppose. But if I hide it in the future I'll yeah so if I hide it in the future I can do some Jiggery pokery. Uh, unfortunately, it does get rid of all of the things each time. But I suppose I'll, I'll figure it out by that point. So, why don't I quickly nip off camera and try my best at setting up a way so that it'll insert one piece of cobblestone in here at a time to make a certain amount of, like, I want it to make, say, 10 blank slates at a time. And all the different levels of slates that there is. All the different... So, right now I can get up to the imbued slates. I haven't done tier 4, but if I want to get up to imbued slates. So 10 of each of these slates. Yeah? That's kind of what I want to... F that's my plan I'm trying to organise. I'm, I'm sure that could be done. I'm sure it could be done. So... Give me a wee second, guys, and I'm going to do a little bit of this, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, I think I might have found a little bit of a juke glitch. Pardon me. So, I'm probably not going to use this. I'm going to have to figure out something else to do it. Uh, I kind of wanted to use it for this, but, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it cheaty-wise. So, 
if I actually open this chest, <laughs> yeah, I, I used six pieces of stone and yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> that's, that's a juke. That is definitely a juke glitch. And it's not the problem with coding in the first programming bit. I did that all right. It was all working. I was like, brilliant, brilliant. And I looked at the chest and it was like, kept on filling up every inventory space each time. Like, oh, that's not supposed to happen. So, yeah, I'm <laughs> going to have to try a different method of doing this for now. This shall be going away. And all of these shall be getting deleted. And if I do go quickly in here. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Should maybe have just made a trash can, but uh, as I say, no cheating. Oh well, technically cheating because I've put it into that mode, but my, my, my point stands. I'll figure out some other thing to, to use with that uh, back in factory manager. Hopefully, something that doesn't involve me. Well, it doesn't involve the cheating, basically. Although I know I used blood for these things, but not enough. There we go. Although that was a hell of a lot of, <laughs> of those things. So, I shall... I, I only just wanted to show you that there was a juke blood <laughs> and I'm going to have to think of something else. Some other way of doing it. And there is the stuff from... The, the item transfer stuff from Blood Magic, which is very easy to use to and to understand, but you do need to have a tier 4. Sorry, turn this off before I forget. I think you do need to have the tier 4 already set up for it, because I think you need to have 400 wealth. Maybe I can put 400 wealth in. Trans spell summon. There we go. I can. I could do that. I don't know that I doubt it was tier 4 at all. I thought you needed tier 4. Obviously, you just need tier 3. So I could do that. I could certainly consider this. So I do need to put an inventory. I see another set there. Yeah, let's go 200, 200. So because it was going very quickly, all the mobs, I need to fill more. I need to fill more. not crazy, that sounds like there's something walking. No, it doesn't do anything. Perfect. Thanks for that. Right. So now we just need to set up to get a imbued state. Because uh, we'll probably need more than one, of course. Because we need one of these master routing ones. We need an input, which will get us to the routing node. So actually, no, we just need one imbued. So let's grab one of these and turn it into an imbued state. So that basically just means leave it in there for a wee while. Let's get the mobs down. Get some set up. Because that can only go as far as imbued, so I can just leave it until it's finished, basically. Then we also needed the iron and gold or diamond even. Probably need glass, I would imagine. Glass also seems to be a thing that's used here. So we need a block of iron. Diamond, oh wow, we are going short on diamonds. Definitely going to have to do that soon. So glass and smooth stone, redstone, glowstone. Sorry, right in the glass. Glass. Redstone. Should have the smooth stone over there. Then I will have tons of mobs as well. At some point, I'll, I'll make proper armor, not just use stuff that I can just find on the fall and use. So we've got an imbued slate, so let's get ourselves that back up there. So imbued slate, diamond and block of iron. That seems to work. Do a master routing node. 
also need two input nodes and two output nodes, so that means we need four writing nodes. Oops, four glowstone, four redstone. Four redstone. Four glowstone. get me the writing nodes which then I have to upgrade it to the these ones which need gold as well as iron maybe gold and oh put one into iron let's grab some gold and iron luckily my system is working away nicely we've got plenty of energy for you for you also need to get the prevention thing. I can routing note, that's the one. So I need two lapis reinforced and two lapis thick. And uh, and with a reinforced thing as well. So we'll get that over here. Like I say. Prevention whenever it needs you. Sigil. Get the metal plates. Can I grab it? Oh no, there we go. I'll have to pay attention to this one because I don't need them viewed. I need it to be uh, reinforced. I have to watch it when it when it changes. Come on, change. Change, damn it. So we've got our four routing nodes. Let's just make the sticky thing as well whilst I'm here, the writing thing. 804 well left. Should have enough hopefully to make two of these. Oh, no, we need two item ones. Just gold. Redstone, glowstone, writing notes. So yeah, hopefully I'll have enough in this paddock gem. If I don't, I can always run over and kill some more mobs. We've got the input node. Take them. And then two output nodes. I know I'm just messing up that chest, but eh, it's all right. So, uh, yeah, so master node, uh, in here, then one of that. Let's get the iron chest and let's take it out. So we'll grab some iron chest. Positioning, positioning, positioning. Is somewhere where I could just throw in the stuff. So actually, let's put it there. That should s that connects to the iron chest one that I use. I don't want that. Let's put you. Yes. I'm gonna. Mm. Yeah. So the master writing node it doesn't need to be connected to anything, but everything needs to be connected to it. So it can be placed basically anywhere. Uh, let me grab this. So I'm going to just put. That shouldn't connect to it. It does fly. The yeah, stupid thingy doesn't have an inventory. There then, that'll do. Looks kind of cool as well though, don't they? That's slightly handy. So then I shall need an input, an output node on each of these. So I'm going to put one on top of the back. Uh, let's actually put one underneath it. One there, one there. No connection that way. And then I need two on here as well, so one there, and one there. Like I say, I'm gonna keep those just for clarity reasons. Now my router node, I'm gonna put two. Let's go over here and connect one to 
this you to you then I should just need to connect that that to that to that so that should be them all at least connected up a bit back also actually need to make filters, that's the other thing I was thinking about. I couldn't remember what I had to make. Oh, these, these here are the precise item filters. These are the ones I'm going to have to make for the inputs at least anyway. And then I'm going to have to make the outputs as well. So I'm going to need a few of these. I can make four for... Well, I'm going to need quite a lot, <laughs> come to think of it. So I need black slates stone and glass so quite a few there it's like I've got glass and I've got stone so that's quite handy so each of these I'm gonna have to make it so that it is like down down up no it's like these guys here so we're right where we are so you've got all of these slots to be able to put in filters so what was I thinking this was an input this is where I always get mixed up. This is where I start to think, now, does that mean input to the system or input to that chest? I can almost guarantee I'll get it the wrong way around. But first, let's make, like, we've got how many slates is in this thing? It's like five different slates, isn't it? Or six. Five or six. So I'll need to make ten, twelve maybe? I'm just taking a rough guess at how many I need to make. So I'm going to let them make the wee while, because I'll need to make, and I'll have to make them precise, which means I need to get more glass and some more sticks to make a precise one. Yeah, sticks and glass. So let's go make some more glass first for that it. set up to input. Almost forgot I've it's been a it's been a wee while since I've done this. I mean this does it has changed and it still looks good. Still looks good. Let's get that going. So why don't I wait a wee bit because yeah I've got rid of all these things. Right there. I might not need to wait for all. I need to go faster, I think. I feel like I'm going way too slow. So let's get some of these. Pretty much need them all to be precise, don't I? Let's move two out. More sticks. Wow. I'm just going to leave two out just, just, just in case. I don't know. I mean, you never know. I've got 10 precise item filters. That'll do for now. I'm sure if I need more, I can make more pretty straight, pretty, pretty easily. In fact, fairly easily. So let's take those two away. Let's get the stone. And I pretty much need one of each of the slates. So let's, or at least one anyway. So let's make ourselves another of the, wait, did that just, did that just pull out my item? Did the little devil right? So I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break these things so I can make the slates. Huh? Oh. Well, probably need some more blood. Yeah, so I need the smooth stone, the blank slate, reinforced slate, and imbued slate, which is the three I can get just now. This one's going to take a bit more because it's going to have to be the full whack. Just have to make sure the dagger all done up. Wow. 
short by a skill. And now you get the lag from skill. Where did this guy shoot me? Was it? And who did you get there? Seriously. Well, that was annoying. So, uh, that's not where I want to be. How, how do I do this? Oops, okay, I think I remember. I need to put the item filter in that place and tell it. Okay, this is this is this is where I can I can mess up pieces. So let's actually take this up for a second. Take this out. Take that for now. And that one's input on there. So let's put an output one here and see what happens. So the output there. And if I were to say put a blank space behind it, nothing happens to it. Cool. So that means it inputs to the system, outputs to the block. There we go. That should be pretty good. So out inputs to the system, outputs to the block. So I want this to take out one. For now, I'm going to set up all the other ones later, but for now I want it to take one piece of stone, input it to here. And this is going to be set up for the west of the block, I presume, I think. And for now I'm not going to put anything in there, I'm just going to tell it to do it. And let's see what happens. Nothing, nothing is what's going to happen. Oh, of course, I've not set this to. This is. Oh. Did I, did I, did I get rid of the stone? Really? You get rid of the stone? Item filter. Oh no, it's got the stone. Right. Stone won't be in anything. So let's try changing to this one. Oh, you're not connected anymore. Duh. Okay, no problem. So right now, all that's going to do is just use up all the blood in the altar. Okay, 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 okay. I think it appears, doesn't it? So now I want it to. So that's the output. So an input here and an output on this block. Oh. Yeah. Output here. Take it up. Now it. It'll have to be the one that says only have, say, 10 blank space. So it should only be allowed to put 10 blank space in there. Take some stone. And then I need an input in here. Switch to the left of the space. And it should be set to open so it can take. Yes. But it's not on the list, obviously, because that was now it going to do, does it? Reinforce. Of course, it's got no blood in there anymore. Of course, it does. 
this is all my workings. This is all my mind going around in circles. We're actually nearing the wrapping up point, or probably past the wrapping up point, I would imagine. He being me. So, why don't I... Hey! Bob training to Bob. So why don't I finalise this system off camera, or in between episodes, or a little bit, I should say, to the extent of it working, and I'll run through all the good bits and pieces. How does that sound? I think that sounds good. So guys, this is the Trish Etkin, signing off episode 16, have fun!